Oh yes, my name is uh, Melaz Milo, aka Fula, and I want to welcome you so big time on this platform, the Buzz UG. My TikTok family, how are you doing? Thank you so much for following me that side. Uh, this platform is just about information in the current affairs and also in the entertainment industry. Uh, basically, anything that is making headlines in the country, you find it right here on the Buzz UG. So make sure that you subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, yesterday, I promised to keep you posted on uh, the breaking news that we received in the country. That is uh, the death of the 137 UPDF soldiers right there in Somalia. Uh, we all know now that they were attacked at the African Union Transition Mission military camp. And uh, reports have indicated that we lost 137 UPDF soldiers right there. Now, President Museveni has issued an official statement on this matter. Uh, through his Twitter platform, President Museveni has explained what happened right there, you know, the mistakes that the UPDF soldiers committed right there leading to this attack. You can actually head to his uh, Twitter platform and read everything right there. But most notably, President Museveni has said that uh, uh, the Chief of Defense Forces, CDF, that is uh, General Wilson Mbadi, has set up a board of inquiry to establish facts into this attack, but also to understand how many UPDF soldiers soldiers that we lost in this attack yes so hopefully we shall be getting to have more information about this matter but uh, i think it was a very very deadly uh, attack right there in somalia because according to president museveni uh, there were about 800 terrorists that attacked the updf soldiers right there yes so i think it was a very very deadly one and uh, that is how we lost the 137 updf soldiers right there the updf base was overrun i think that is uh, not in the contestation now once you overrun a base then people scatter they go they they, they flee uh, you know quite often in disarray uh, and it takes a bit of time to reorganize them and to know therefore how many are dead how many are missing how many are injured it, it takes a time it's not like when you repulse uh, the attacker and you remain in your in your defense now other reports have indicated that uh, updf has sent another group of uh, updf soldiers uh, to cover the vacuum that had been left behind by the dead 137 updf soldiers and uh, these guys are already in somalia and also they were led by the the commander land forces right here in uganda that is a uh, general kayanja muhanga yes as we speak right now general kayanja muhanga the commander land forces is in somalia to assess the security situation right there and that is the guy right there he actually replaced uh, general muhonzi kainerugaba president museveni's son as the commander land forces right here in uganda yes so Kayanja is in Somalia as we speak right now and uh, we hope that uh, uh, we shall be getting more information on what really happened right there. You know, these are people who are not as motivated as the ones coming to attack them. These are people who are thinking about their families here, who are not be and they are being wrong. In fact, they, their wives are ringing them, they have no food, they are, it, this is now time for children to go back to school. But there's a section of members of parliament that have requested President Museveni's government to start thinking about returning our soldiers back to Uganda because it seems the situation in Somalia is getting worse and worse and worse because we cannot continue losing our soldiers right there. And uh, these members of parliament said that uh, it is high time for President Museveni's government to start thinking about returning our boys and girls back to the country. But other members of parliament said, no, no, no. This is not the right time for UPDF to give up right there in Somalia because then what will be left of uh, Somalia? Uganda. <laughs> Abamaze banga lyo nanga tu koshoninga ebibuzo lwachi tugena maso okuteka majega fe ebweru we gwanga nga banansi bali wano batibwa echufu chiri nti banansa abasuka uh, abasirikala abasuka ma 10 ana uh, batidwa nga ne saa weno helicopters zicha somba okujayo ba casualties na ba food okubatu alamu safe zone uh, but we didn't go for no wood and jabby, no club and the Mirambo is taking what they were going to Government should be able to tell us why. Because I can tell you, sharing information is very, very important. I say so because 
parliament can take decisions based on the true information from the ground. And as we talk right now, uh, Somalia being a very volatile uh, place, I do not even see a situation where a parliament can say commit a committee to rush down there. We have a committee on defense and internal affairs here. If that allegation from the Al-Shabaab is true, I now wonder whether it is really feasible, whether it is proper for the African countries to think of withdrawing from Somalia. What then will remain of Somalia? I can tell you they are surviving because of the blood of the foreign countries. Those are the Ugandans.